Thanks for stopping by. It's an Ink and Stampede. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card. The way I got started with this was I actually didn't purchase the stamp set from Stampin' Up! soon enough. I hesitated. I thought, oh, I want some other ones. And then when I saw this, I ordered it anyway. But of course, Valentine's Day was here and gone. And I thought, well, what could I do with this? So I loved this heart stamp with the scroll. And I thought, let's do a shamrock. So let's get started and I'll show you how I did this. I used the Garden Green Classic Stampin' Pad. Stampin' Up! And like I said, this was the I Heart Hearts stamp set. And I'm using the clear acrylic block and it's the letter C size. It fit perfectly. There's so many great stamp choices on here, but I loved this one. So this is the one I'm using today. It started out with a very vanilla plain piece of cardstock and that's at three and a half by three and five eighths inches and any other measurements that I mention on this I'll have also on my blog which that address is listed at the end of this video so the three and five eighths is here three and a half is this way I'm gonna first start out putting my um, sentiment at the bottom and I just use the happy St. Patrick's Day from the teeny tiny wishes set there you go. And then we're going to do the same for the shamrock. Now I kind of liked to put him off center. So what I did, as you can see in this card, he's kind of close here and I wanted this a little bit more open. It really can go anywhere that you would like it to go. But I usually start with the bottom one. So I'm going to spin this around and put this pretty much here. Ink up your stamp. Then I spin them around. And I like to line up the points. I like to leave a, a little gap, but not a whole lot. It can be close. It's really up to what you would like to do with it. And spin them around one more time. There you go. Now while we're at it, and I have my green stamp pad already open, you can do this many ways. You can cut out a stem. You can just take one of the garden green um, stamp and write markers and put that in this stem where I'd like and I use my sponge dauber. Same green ink just lightly sponge on some ink for the stem. And it's just a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock that I used. And I like to try to shade it darker at the bottom but it it's up to you. There you go. Very simple, very quick, easy to do, but I think it looks really pretty in the end. Now what we're going to do is we want to cover it with glitter, put it here, and we're going to use the Versamark powder. So you take it and just start covering. You want to get it as wet as you can. You want it very moist. This is going to help everything adhere the heat and stick powder. My pad's pretty new, so I don't know if you can see that it's wet in different spots. Take and just put my heat and stick powder over the top. Tap it off. And of course you heat it with your heat gun, your heat tool. So forgive the noise for a minute here. Just so it's glossy, if you overheat it, it'll lose its stickiness and then your glitter won't stick. Okay, there we go. 
Then I take my Dazzling Diamonds, and if you haven't purchased this, if you don't use glitter a lot, but you like it a little bit once in a while, to me this is the one to get. I love this color. It's clear enough to see what you've done underneath, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It just adds to your image. And there's your image. So we'll set this aside and we'll start on the rest of the card. Now I also have a piece of basic black and I cut that at 3 and 7 eighths by 4 and 3 quarters. I'm going to take our punch. To do the punch on this bottom edge, I tend to turn it over and I also like to center it in the middle of the card because I kind of, if I start over here, sometimes I don't get the same image on each edge or the same shape on each edge. So I like to start in the middle and then I figure if I go to the right and the left, they're pretty close to almost the same. And punch that. Move it over. Line it up. And the same here. And it's, it's a little off, but you pretty much still get the same pattern on each side. And that's why I like to do it that way. Hopefully that'll help you if you're struggling with those issues. Okay, and then what we're going to do is take, I used the garden green cardstock, it's the plain cardstock, and I cut that at four and a quarter by eleven, and then did the score and fold at five and a half. The inside of the card, I just put a little teeny piece of old olive in here, thought so just take the snail, and on the inside of the card, just kind of center it. Just a nice spot to write something that you might want to put in there over and above just a basic sentiment. But if you, I just kind of like to add a little bit more inside. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to put our image mat onto the black mat. Use your snail. I tend to put it up here. I want it a little extra hanging off down here. So center it that way. Usually don't push down too hard until I have it exactly where I want it to be. Alrighty, and then the same again here. Skew this more down to the bottom part of the card because I'm going to leave a little bit of a spot at the top for ribbon. There we go. Now all we have left is to do the ribbon. So take a piece of certainly celery. This is the satin ribbon from Stampin' Up. It's available right now in the mini Occasions Mini. I'm just going to tie a basic knot. Loop the right over the left. I tend to try to pull this down this way so the left side bring down. Loop the right around and through. And then I try to hold this right tab right here, this right part of the ribbon, down tight and gently pull this way. Do more pulling from the left than the right and you should get a pretty nice simple knot. Then you can kind of add a little bit more tugging on both sides. Then just trim it with your snips. And your card is done. I think it comes out really cute. You could put any image you wanted on here. And I hope you really try this. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.